Welcome back guys. <clears throat> Today I'm taking a look at the new Manjaro LXDE 17.02. <clears throat> now it just came out over the weekend um, and so far I'm very very impressed with it. Now it's a fairly minimal install. During the installation process you can first of all when you first boot from the USB it gives you the option to select non-free graphics drivers. Now, this is the first distribution that has recognized and configured my NVIDIA graphics card right out of the box. <clears throat> um, just recently I changed graphics cards. I went from the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GT40 to the NVIDIA G, uh, GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. The, the drivers are different and Ubuntu I can install the graphics easily with their driver manager. Um, with Debian it's a manual installation process but with Manjaro LXDE the once I select non-free graphics during the install process once I boot into my the first boot into the operating system the Nvidia my Nvidia graphics card is recognized and configured perfectly right out of the box I don't have to do anything to it so that's a major plus <clears throat> in my opinion number two uh, my Realtek Wi-Fi is installed through Yawert and that's a fairly easy installation process. Once I reboot, have my Realtek Wi-Fi working. So right off the bat, I'm extremely impressed in the ability to configure your uh, Wi-Fi and graphics uh, devices and drivers. So as I said during the install it's you, you can pick the applications that you want to install. It sets them up in various categories and you can pick the ones you want. For example if you don't want to install LibreOffice you don't have to you can uncheck that. And so what you end up with is more of a, an installation that you uh, determine what applications get installed. Then once you boot into your first um, boot after install you can go ahead and install whatever packages you like. As with uh, some other applica or other distributions you don't have a lot of bloat. You don't have a lot of things that you have no use for which is really really good. Now LXDE as you know is a is a lightweight, uh, really quick desktop environment. I like uh, the way LXDE looks and feels. It just feels extremely snappy and Manjaro LXDE is no exception. Now I made a few notes because there are some things that you should be aware of. <clears throat> Number one, um, I said it was a minimal install. You can pick your apps. The default icons are Mocha, and that's what you see here. Uh, the default theme, I believe, is Vertex Maya. Now, normally when I install an LXDE distribution, I have to uh, modify the XML file, the configure open box configuration file, uh, so that my keyboard volume keys work. Normally they don't work out of the box but with Manjaro LXDE and I'm going to show you that <clears throat> as you can see up in the top right you can see the volume changes and I'm doing that with the uh, volume keys on my keyboard. So that works right out of the box. Now normally I prefer to have all windows centered so I, I did have to manually uh, edit the configuration file to, to enable centering of new windows versus smart placement. So as you can see when I click on 
applications, I'm going to get centering of the windows. And that's what I prefer. And again, if, if you prefer smart placement where it will automatically place the window in an empty section of your desktop, then you can just leave it the way it comes out of the box. Now, as with any Arch Manjaro distribution, you want to check the Arch website before you go ahead and do any updates. <clears throat> and that's this website here. You can, uh, you can avoid problems if you before if if the little icon turns red and shows you that there's an uh, an update to be installed you might want to check this web page first just to make sure there are not any known issues now manjaro does a good job of of uh, sifting through the updates before they present them to you however uh, as I have experienced firsthand in the past, sometimes problems get through and it can cause a problem with your system. So you want to double check this website before you go ahead and apply any updates. Now, Manjaro has its own forum and there is a forum section devoted to LXDE and that is this section here. Now, the LXDE um, version of Manjaro. It's a community spin and Thanos Apostolou is the uh, maintainer. So he's the lead person on this particular distribution and um, whenever I have any any issues or questions I post them on this forum and I get responses very very quickly. Now, not only do you have the, this forum to rely on for, for questions and answers and issues and observations, uh, but you also have a tips, tricks, and general information for Manjaro LXDE Community Edition. Now, you don't see this very often, and it's excellent. This is the website, Tips and Tricks for LXDE. It covers general info, keyboard shortcuts, file manager actions, quick launchers, compositors, changing your theme, using a conky, improving your boot time, and minimizing RAM usage. Just some of the topics that you can get information on and learn a lot more about how LXDE works. It'll really help you understand your system and also get your system configured uh, so that you can optimize it on a daily basis. Now, the the forum also, as a side note, it has a um, theme, a dark theme. So, for example, if I want to change this in my Firefox, and I believe this works pretty well with most browsers, um, you, you, what you do is you need to have an account. So you need to register at the forum and then click on your profile tab then click on the little gear and then click on interface and you'll see that the theme selection and if you want to go to the dark theme that's all you have to do so uh, again it's just another innovation that Manjaro has implemented they do a super job with all of their products and uh, the, the forum is just an extension of that. And it's very, very, as I said, very, very helpful. If you have any issues, just stop by the LXDE section of the forum and you can get your questions answered very, very quickly. As I said, it's a minimal install. So, for example, in accessories, you can see that there are not a lot of items installed right out of the box and again you can check off the ones you want when you do your install after you boot up from your USB now the welcome screen again it's the welcome screen is is well done uh, you can see there's a README, release information, a, a link to the wiki, forums, chat room, mailing lists, get involved, development, donate. <clears throat> Manjaro has the user guide available, 
which has a wealth of information, 134 pages. And so this would be, if you're just starting out with Linux or you're just starting out with Arch or Manjaro, by all means, take a look at this. It has lots of information that'll make your life in Linux a lot better. So guys, that is it for this uh, <clears throat> video. Again, it's on Manjaro, Jelavara. It's the LXDE spin 1702. Highly recommended. Uh, it runs really, really well, really fast, really snappy, as usual. Most LXDE uh, desktop distributions run absolutely fine, and that's one of the reasons I prefer LXDE. So, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.